Hey everyone, nice to see you today. Uh, you may be wondering where I am broadcasting from today. I'm actually at uh, the uh, Creative Knitting office. Uh, this is where I actually put the magazine together. So, you know, I just want to experiment and see how I can kind of change things up from time to time. But really, the biggest reason why I am here today is because I don't know, maybe you've heard the news, but there's a big knit along going on. And I have right behind me, you can see the, um, the big, beautiful cover of the spring 2017 issue. And Universal Yarn is sponsoring this knit along. I've been talking about it a lot on the Creative Knitting uh, Facebook page every Wednesday. And so I have been getting you guys prepared. So you should have your yarn, you should have your pattern. You should have everything that you need to get started. And so today I just wanted to, I guess, provide a little bit more commentary and also just let you guys know, uh, you know, what's happening and, and what's, what's going on. So Beth Whiteside is going to be leading the knit along on the Creative Knitting Facebook page at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is just about an hour less than an hour now from from now so i'm hoping that you guys will will be ready to go uh, because it's going to be a lot of fun and so it's uh, this is week number one and it's for two full weeks so today is the first video and then hey if you guys are watching the replay you can always come back and watch later and post your your photos and ask questions and then next week uh, is uh, the second knit along video which is on February 10th and that's it so as I'm waiting for you guys to kind of flood into the room I'm gonna introduce myself I usually like to wait a little bit to introduce myself because it does take time it takes some time for everyone to come in uh, and so if you're joining me for the very first time I just want to make sure that I give give you time to flow into the the room uh, so to speak but my name is Kara Gott Warner and I am the host of Power Pearls podcast and I'm also the editor of Creative Knitting Magazine and uh, and so I have been really excited. I've been talking up this knit along probably since before Christmas. If any of you have been like diehard uh, participants at, on these during these videos, you know that I've been talking about it for quite some time now and you can see the magazine behind me here. Um, I know you're seeing the reverse image, but this is the spring issue. I'm gonna, you'll see everything the real, the right way when I turn around the camera. Uh, but this is on the newsstand now and we are doing the knit along for the, this beautiful poncho that is on the cover of the magazine and it's designed by Beth Whiteside and she's going to be leading you through the knit along. So it's it's going to be, you know, two weeks of just a lot of fun. And it's great because this knit along really does go with the theme that I've been talking about for quite a while uh, on the Power Pearls page, as many of you know, who um, have been um, following along for the Stitchucation workshop that's been going on. It was happening for the entire month of January, which it was just a really uh, fun time because in addition to this, these videos, which are, of course, they're always free and they're in the archives, but I gave some great extras, you know, that are part of the uh, membership if you're, if you join uh, to become a member of Power Pearls. So that was great. That was great fun. And, uh, and so anyway, those, these, the videos for that are always going to be in the archives. So what are we, what we're doing today, and I'll flip around shortly. Um, I am going to first uh, before I really dig in, uh, but I'll just share a little. Actually, I'll share a little bit. A little, I always always like to share just a little teaser, so to speak, about what it is that we're going to do. And I'm going to show you how to work filler stitches. So I don't have the poncho with me. <laughs> I did uh, back before the holidays, before I had released it to Beth. Um, but I am going to be making my own po new poncho uh, during the knit along. Uh, but anyway, but I'm, I've been making a lot of swatches. And uh, I have some swatches here that I've been showing you, and I'll flip things around a little bit, but I'm going to show you uh, how to make some filler stitches for your poncho. But it's really a nice idea to, to just to make swatches of the stitch patterns in the poncho so that you can get familiar and just really feel comfortable making, um, making the poncho and that you feel that you, know, you understand the stitch patterns because these are all open work 
uh, patterns. So it is really easy to lose yarn over, as many of you probably have experienced. And stitch markers are your friends, so we'll talk a little bit more about that because when I, I'll show you a little tiny swatch that I started and also some of these little filler stitches. Uh, so because you'll see, if you already have the pattern, you'll see that there are these filler stitches in between the uh, main stitch patterns which serve as just, you know, they add a little contrast. So you can see I was playing around, you see that? So uh, I just finished this, so it's not blocked, but you can get this idea, and I'll show you when we flip things around, but um, I've been playing around with some different insertion filler stitches or insertions, I guess we can call them insertions. Um, and so I was playing around with this one, and you can kind of see, so there's, there's this, um, swatch here, the Madeira lace, the Madeira diagonal lace, which is one of the stitch patterns. And then I was playing around with this other little diagonal pattern that I found from a really great stitch pattern that I have at home. Uh, I'm sorry, a stitch book, a stitch dictionary of all of these little little panels. And, and so I started playing and I got really, really super excited. And so you can see how that uh, goes the opposite way. And that would be a really cool filler, right? But you'll see on my swatch, I, I changed it up because I made some other fillers like this one, which I love. Isn't that cool? Can you guys see it? I'm really loving this one. It's hard to see, I guess. Maybe if I put it up against my white shirt. There you go. Can you guys see it against my, <laughs> against my white shirt? So this is uh, actually a filler that, I am, that I'm working with now and I have a little swatch that I want to show you. So now it's your turn, you guys. I saw that some of you have come into the room. Please share you know, where, you're, where you're viewing from. I always love to know that. So I'm going to kind of run through it really quick and say hi to Marie. Hello, Marie. Elaine, nice to see you today. Uh, Angie is here, Ada is here, Diane is here. This is great. So you guys, before we get going, I want to ask you to do uh, one thing uh, because I just realized that Ada, thank you, shared this video. Please, please, please share this with your friends because even if, if you, you have friends that are not knitters, um, they might share it with their friends that are knitters. So you never know. You never know who's going to see it. Hi, Debbie. Nice to see you. So great, everyone is coming in. So I like to ease into things because you know then we can really get this party started. And then, um, yeah, and then you can watch the replay. You guys can watch the replay and uh, that'll be a lot of fun. And then of course, after this, you have Beth coming at one o'clock. So don't forget, after you watch me, you gotta go on over to uh, the uh, Creative Knitting uh, Facebook page at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'm on the clock, you guys. Okay, so 10 minutes down. So yeah, so let's, uh, so you guys have had time to introduce yourself. So I am going to, um, well first, in case this is the first time you are here, okay, I'm going to show you a photo in the magazine. So you can see, I know, like I said, everything's reversed, but you can see the photo very nicely. There's no worries there because that's what the poncho looks like. You guys see that? And I was talking about those little filler stitches. So can you see what I'm talking about with these? There's three stitch patterns. You see that? Three stitch patterns. And then in between those stitch patterns are filler stitches. And in this pattern, we call it the trellis, the zigzag trellis. And it's quite lovely. I really, really love it. And, uh, and so uh, here's an even bigger view of the stitch patterns. You see that? And so Madeira Lace, this is the one that I am going to be uh, showing you on my little, uh, my little swatch. And I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to create a little diagram for you because I decided that I want to customize it a little bit. I want to use the Madeira Lace, but then I want to use another uh, open work uh, stitch pattern. So this is, so here's another here's my swatch that I started making last week and I actually am playing around with the hourglass lace and the Madeira lace. No. <laughs> I take that back. I just lost a stitch marker. Um the the um the ooh, what is it called? The mirror yeah, the mirror lace and the hourglass lace. <laughs> There's too many M's in these patterns. And so the trellis is is the center. See the center here? Uh, again, I'll have to probably hold it up against myself. You see that right there? 
it's so beautiful. I love the way that the uh, these yarn overs crisscross. And that's in the pattern, okay? That's part of the pattern that you get uh, for the knit along. If you haven't gotten it already, you can get the e-pattern. The single is available. And, uh, and it's made with universal yarn. It's made with, let me find my ball here, Deluxe Worsted Super Wash right here. Universal. And it's such a it's so nice. I, I, the other day when I was on the creative knitting page, uh, my, my description was it's, it's springy and it's bouncy and it's squishy. I mean, I think <laughs> those are the kind of uh, words that we love to use for yarn, right? It tells you a lot, but the springy feel, yeah, that's a good one. It's like, it has this bounce to it. I don't know. That's the only way I can really describe it. And it is really, it feels really nice to work with and I'm, I'm loving it. I really, really truly am so uh, I just uh, I can't wait to really get started on my poncho but in the meantime I'm gonna jump in uh, and then after I'm done Beth is gonna go into I'll just kind of give you a quick commentary there when Beth starts you off on the on the knit along uh, she's going to uh, kind of do a little a little bit of a uh, an overview on row gauge she's gonna uh, explain the importance of how of, of matching gauge especially for side-by-side -side patterns, which is what we're doing here with these patterns and with the filler stitches, um, working with the row re with row repeats and multiples. So these are things that you're gonna have to, um, you know, feel comfortable with and, you know, get that little calculator. But don't be afraid because I I'm not good at math. Seriously, my husband will tell you, and I've told you that before. If I can do it, you can do it. So I'm going to flip it around and we're going to get started and uh, I hope you enjoy this and then I'll, I'll flip it back and say, say bye. But for now, we're going to learn some fun stuff. Okay. So let me uh, situate things and remember this is live video. I try to make it as smooth as I can. So I'm going to move a few things and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you on paper if, this little diagram, I'm going to draw for you what I'm doing, which I think is going to really, really help give you a great, moving my tools around, it's going to give you a really great feeling for what it is that you're, you can, that, you know, just a, how to customize. So let me, let me turn you around <laughs> and then we'll get going. All right. So get to see some of the wall. Well, that's always nice. Let's, let's put you on the magazine. There you go. You get to see my computer screen. So I'm going to kind of, there we go. Yay. It's nice to see like what's happening in people's worlds. And isn't it? I think so. So here we go. So there are my swatches, my swatches that I've been having so much fun with. I started making these last, a few of these last night. And then this morning, I always get so into this when I am making, uh, you know, when I'm planning for all these videos for the creative knitting videos and the power pearls videos, I, thoroughly enjoy it so all right so here's my here's my swatch and uh, it's basically this lacy kind of open weave panel I guess is what you call it uh, and here here it is can you can you get a good feel let me bring you down even closer yeah that works I like it sorry for the shadows I'll tell you what the reason why I couldn't tape where I normally tape is because um, well here at Annie's anyway uh, if you if you if you happen to watch me on my Wednesday videos but today is Super Bowl soup day <laughs> so everyone's having soup <laughs> which is kind of cool you know there's lots of fun things happening here at, uh, at the company so there see how that is that is just really cool so you can get a much better feel for it against the white um, and so that is my insertion in this swatch right here. And uh, these stitch markers are so awesome, aren't they? Actually, uh, one of my coworkers loaned them to me because of course I realized that I didn't have stitch markers with me and uh, and I was gonna use yarn and then kind of do one of those, uh, oh, you guys, here's a, here's a, a knitting, um, a, a little knitting emergency tip when you, you don't have, you know, how to be resourceful when you don't have stitch markers. So I'm going to, I'm going to show that to you, uh, again, after you, um, after I draw my, my little diagram, but let me just show you what I did, what I'm going to do. So here's the Madeira lace 
Madeira Diagonal Lace. I have it in two different colors because I've made lots of different samples, I'll admit. So here, here are two versions. Um, and then it, it, there are some border stitches because just for the sake of being able to swatch and measure your actual pattern repeat and get your gauge so that also the, you know, the patterns can lay or the swatches can lay nice and flat. And then here is the uh, little swatch that I made. I mean, it's upside down. Because I wanted to see, okay, what, how would this insertion look? And you can kind of get a feel if you do it this way, if you've made separate swatches, a little bit, you know, because you can say, hmm, how do I like this next to this? And, and I decided that I really wanted to, to use the Madeira lace on both sides. And, you know, if you were really an advanced knitter, you could, you could actually do a sort of like a mirror version of that. And you can certainly do that. There are definitely patterns out there that can assist with that. One of those is, uh, you know, if you're working a right and left bias pattern, which I have talked about um, quite a bit. So if any of you have been following me along, along with me uh, for Stitchucation, you know that I did that. So a couple of videos ago, actually the last video to be exact, I actually uh, showed you guys how to do that. So you can, you can check out that video in the archives. So that's what, that's what I wanted to do. So then, um, so then I put it down on paper. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to show that to you now. So here's how we do it. I'm going to get my nice little Sharpie and I'm going to draw a nice visual. Hopefully this will make sense. And I'm going to draw a nice, uh, rectangle here. So this is pretty much like a rectangle shape. There you go. Not the most perfect lines, but that's okay. And then pretty good for freehand, right? On live video. <laughs> so this is the Madeira, diagonal Madeira. So I'm just gonna write Madeira lace. And again, you'll see that in your pattern if you are, if you have purchased the lace sampler and that's in the spring issue of Creative Knitting Magazine. And then I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do the Madeira here as well. Okay. And then in the center, I wanna use this open, open weave. It's like, it, it, I guess is the best, that's what the name of this particular stitch pattern is that I, that I found in one of my dictionaries. So it's open weave. So we'll, I'll just put that there now. So it's a, as far as the stitch patterns are concerned, the multiples are, so I'll start here. So we have, I'm going to add selvage stitches, or at least that's what I did in my, in my swatch. So I'm just going to kind of do this real quick and then I'll do this on the other side. Sorry, you guys, I'm like trying to look at you, look at the camera and make sure I'm staying in the frame at the same time. There we go. And then there's going to be a knit stitch here. This is what I decided. This is like my design. And this and a knit stitch a knit stitch there because it'll balance out and frame this open weave stitch, which you'll see on my swatch again in just a moment. So this particular stitch pattern is eleven stitches. Okay, so I'll just put that there for now. So the Madeira lace, if you're looking at the, the repeat in the pattern, it's 16 stitches. So I'll put a 16 right there. And then the, on the other side, because I'm going to repeat it there, 16. This is a knit stitch. I'll put one. And then I'll put plus signs here, another knit. And then these side stitches, I just decided, now this is all my decision. I mean, you can add four stitches or five stitches or whatever, and they're all, they're always knit. So on wrong and right side rows, I'm always knitting the first three and knitting the last three. So three and three. So now I'm going to do three plus 16 plus one plus 11 plus one plus 16 and then plus 3. 
And what does that equal? Yes, I can do the math. 51, 51 stitches. So that right there is your cast on. Pretty cool. There it is, cast on. That's it right there. So now I'm gonna show you. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Don't be quiet in here, shout out any questions. So I'm going to show you my swatch the best I can. Let me see if I can, I want to kind of keep it over this so you can get a feel for it. How can I do this? Um, maybe up here? What do you think? No, it's too far away. Okay. That's okay. I think this will work. Yeah, this will work. So you guys can see pretty well, I think. So, so here are the three stitches. I'll just, I guess I'll hold it up and I'll, I'll move the markers out of the way. So we have the first three stitches, right? Right there. So they're right there on the end. There's the stitch marker. Then the 16 stitches here for the Madeira right there. Then the center open weave here and I am knitting the first stitch, you can see that there, then 11 stitches in the center, then the last stitch in the center, it'll be one, I'll knit one stitch, then the marker, then another 16, the marker, and then three stitches to frame, they're frame stitches. Now, just a little uh, thing I wanna mention, the, so this, open weave you're always knitting one stitch so I mentioned earlier it would be a knit stitch but I didn't say that you would be knit whether you, I would be knitting them on the right or only the right side or only on the wrong side but they'll always be a knit just like this frame stitches so the beginning of the row you're knitting three the end of the row you're knitting three and then these border stitches will always be a knit stitch because then it will create this nice frame you guys see that you see it? It's like it's right here. It's this little, these little V's right here that are, that are uh, flanking the side of the pattern. So, well, that's that's wrong. <laughs> it's right here. I just had a look at my stitch marker. I'm trying to look at the camera too. So they're so right here. These are always a knit. These are always a knit stitch right on the end. And that's what I decided to do on the wrong and the right side. But the visual, you can see the visual. So once you start working your swatch, it really starts to take shape. And I think this could be a great little scarf, don't you? So I'm really excited about that. So that's really all I wanted to show you, you know, and just play around. I have, like I said, some other uh, little fillers. So I made, like I said, I made this one and I made, I made this one, sort of like a, like a shell kind of look, and then I made this one, which I really like. And I will say that I was thinking that it would be really cool to use this with the Madeira lace, because, and I showed you that just a moment ago. So if these side, if these filler stitches weren't there, you could kind of get a feel for how that might look. Look how cool that is, because it, it looks almost like, a, like an arrowhead kind of look. And then you would, I would repeat the, the Madeira on the other side like this, which is super cool. Isn't that neat? Because then what does it do? It does this, and then it does this, and then it does that. Oh my goodness. So I think I'm going to have to go swatch. <laughs> so I am totally loving this. So you guys said, do you have any questions? I'm just wondering if you do. Um, I'll just kind of look through here. So wonderful, you guys. Uh, so Melanie has joined the room. Very nice. And Christy is here. Yes, I know they are pretty stitch markers, aren't they? Uh, so I was lucky enough to have a, uh, one of my coworkers. I'm ac actually at the Annie's office today at you know Creative Knitting, and uh, and so one of my coworkers loaned me stitch markers. And it's really funny because I said, oh my gosh, I don't have any stitch markers. What am I going to do? And I thought, wait a minute, I work with a bunch of knitters. <laughs> so there you go. So anyway, um, 
I'm, I guess I'm going to just flip you guys around um, and then I will do a little wrap up and that'll be, you know, that'll be it for the day. And then you will be able to join Beth. So I am going to uh, start to do this, moving further and further away. And then, look. hey there. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that and uh, found that interesting because really the possibilities are pretty much endless when it comes to what you, what you can do with the, um, the filler stitches or the panels. Um, uh, and so panels, I, I'm trying to think of what, what I called them before, but um, really they do help to balance out the other uh, stitch patterns that you're using. And like I just showed you with the diagonal mirror, mirror, uh, Madeira lace, there's lots of different uh, ways to um, mix and match those those filler stitches to create directional looking stitches in your pattern with mixing and matching and combining. And so Beth is going to go into a lot more with you. She's going to talk about, uh, you know, the, the start you off with gauge and stitch multiples and all that stuff. But go back if you guys, uh, you know, really want another quick little understanding, just go back and look at my little you know, my little diagram, because this is what it's all about right here. This is the fundamental way to, to actually start uh, mixing and matching and, and customizing patterns. So you guys, that's it. And I really hope that you have a good time with Beth. So let's see, it's, you know, it's just about that time. So I usually wrap things up close to 1230. Uh, please take a moment to share this with your with your knitting friends and also your other friends because you never know when they have knitting friends. Um, I wish you a wonderful weekend and also just, you know, for those of you who are listening to the podcast today, I hope you enjoy uh, the episode with Chelsea Fitch uh, of Knit Fitch and she is uh, the um, founder or the, I guess, yeah, the founder of Fiber Boss, <laughs> uh, the Fiber Boss group on Facebook. So um, you should check that out because it's a great conversation, and I also have the raw and unedited version of that episode. And it's available if you want to check it out. You can go to patreon.com forward slash power pearls podcast. And then when you, and that's if you, you know, you can become a member and then get that and get all these other really cool things. So check it out, you know, go check out the rewards. So with that, I'm gonna, I'm going to um, say goodbye. I'm gonna wish you a happy weekend. And uh, I'll see you next week. All right. Have a good one.